What's good, my read for the culture, friends and family? Thanks for joining me as I read a special series of international children's stories brought to you by the Dubai UAE Expo 2020 school program. At Read for the Culture, we celebrate, appreciate, and patronize our authors and illustrators by adding their stories to our at-home libraries. So please visit the description box for a link to your free copy of the Expo 2020 Children's Tales from Around the World. Now that you have your copy, find a cozy spot to read and your Read for the Culture passport because this story takes our imagination to the Republic of Guinea, a country in the continent of Africa. Ready to take off? Oh, I can hear the music now. Okay, fellow explorers, let's get reading. Soso Bala, the magical Bala phone. Illustrated by Lincoln Suma. 800 years ago, in a land located today in Upper Guinea, there once was a sorcerer named Sumaoro Kante, who ruled as absolute king over the Soso, a group of Mande people. Sumaoro Kante made a deal with Jenna Maghan, the king of the Jinns who are supernatural spirits. Jenna Maghan fulfilled his end of the deal and gave Sumaoro the Jin's most sacred treasure, the Soso Bala. This wooden instrument, a xylophone, wielded supernatural powers beyond imagination. One of these powers included the ability to see the future. The sorcerer would use his new knowledge from the magical instrument to his advantage in battle to win wars. Each victory brought greater arrogance to the king, and each moment with the magical xylophone made him crueler and more selfish, as the king refused to share the magical instrument's powers with another being. One day, a jelly a traditional singer, musician, and oral historian by the name of Balafasike Kuyate came to King Sumaoro's palace. Balafasike was in the service of Sundiata Keta, a king from another group of Mande people. Balafasike sneaked into Sumaoro's palace and found himself immediately drawn to the Soso Bala and started to play the beautiful instrument. King Sumaoro, sensing that his Soso Bala had been touched, ran to check. Who goes there? He barked as he entered his chambers and saw Bala Fasike playing with his precious instrument. Thinking quickly, Bala Fasike quickly started singing the king's praises. With each verse, the king's angry eyes grew warmer and softer. Pleased by Bala Fasike's praise, the king spared his life and kept him in his service. From then on, Bala Fasike was the only person allowed to enjoy the powers of the sacred Soso Bala. In exchange for continuing to sing the praises of the king's accomplishments, what Suma Oro Kante didn't know was that since Bala Fasike started using the Soso Bala, he too was granted supernatural powers by the xylophone. The jelly used his new powers to help his true master, Sundiata Keta, defeat King Suma Oro Kante with his own army. He then created the Great Mali Empire and unified all the Mande groups of people. Sundiata Keta claimed Soso Bala as a war trophy 
continue to serve him as his personal jelly. From then on, he appointed the Kuyate family as the sole guardians of the Soso Bala for the rest of time. And so, the Soso Bala transformed from being a tool of tyrannical rule to one of cultural healing in the hands of Sundiata Keta and his singer, forever representing unity and freedom of the United Mande people. Did you know the Soso Bala is a national treasure in Guinea? The original instrument is preserved in the village of Nayaga Sola, Northern Guinea, under the care of the Dokala family, the Cuyate Jellies or Griots of Nayaga Sola. As an instrument that spanned different eras, countries, and cultures in West Africa, the Soso Bala is inscribed on the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. The original name of the percussion instrument is bala, while the term balafon actually means playing the bala instrument. The balafon is a widely used musical instrument in Mande music. Children from the age of seven years and older can be taught how to play the instrument by the Bala Tiugi, the patriarch of the Dokala family and the guardian of the Soso Bala. The word jelly derives from the Mendinka language and refers to the oral historians, musicians, and performers who keep alive and celebrate the history of the Mande people all over West Africa. Well, my read for the culture, friends and family, I certainly hope you enjoyed that story just as much as I did. Please go ahead and show the channel some love by hitting the like and subscribe button and leave a comment too. At Read for the Culture, we enjoy reading, inspiring, uplifting, multicultural stories for the entire family to enjoy. So please come back again to enjoy a special story from the Expo 2020 Children's Tales from Around the World. Thank you.